Well, hey, Corey and Camille. Yeah, uh, things were um, relatively small in size tonight in comparison to the large march in St. Paul last night. Well, here along 10th and Hennepin, downtown Minneapolis, this was one of several intersections that were shut down by marchers uh, tonight. But as you can see behind us, things are back to normal. Now, marchers shut down several intersections along Hennepin Avenue to try and capitalize on some of that frustration with the not guilty verdict for St. Anthony police officer Euronimo Yanez. Now, the former Minneapolis police or former Minneapolis NAACP leader and Minneapolis mayoral candidate Nakima Levy Pounds helped organize this rally and shut down here tonight. Marchers also stopped outside of the Minneapolis downtown police precinct before heading back to Loring Park, where things ended about an hour and a half ago. Now, for many, this was just an extension of last night's rally in St. Paul to show their support for the Philando Castile family. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's, it's really emotional. I've been talking to cops the last couple days to just open up to the issues, you know, be sensitive to this innocent man dying, you know. As a white woman, it's very upsetting. I have a biracial daughter and I was married to a black man and I just can't even imagine the pain of that family. Now, Minneapolis police officers mainly acted as an escort here for marchers as they weaved through downtown Minneapolis and doing some traffic control, making sure that uh, traffic and marchers did not get tangled up on its Twitter tonight. Police said that they did not make any arrests. Guys. All right. Well, thank you, Dylan. And at last